Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to be refactoring the BMI calculator. To refactor code means to change the code without actually changing the function. All right, why would you do that? Well, you do it for two reasons. Number one, to clean it up, to make it easier to read. That's one thing. Sometimes you're in a rush, you just jumble things together. Maybe you want to comment, put more comments inside there so you'll, it'll remind you how to read the code. Or number two is to actually be able to expand functionality in the future. Um, let's go here. Let's clean this up from last time. This is not part of the refactoring, okay, because I'm changing the function here. And I'm going to restore this part. And I'm going to delete the radio part from the last video. And I'll delete this as well. And we'll save it. I was playing around with this in the meantime. And it actually still works. OK, so there's several things that we can do. Now notice, when I hit Submit button, this takes place. But what if I want something else to happen? I have to delete this, right? But what if I want something else to happen and the BMI to be calculated? or the BMI to be calculated. So in other words, I want more than one function. I could put a big, huge list of code right next to it, but that kind of gets a little bit harder to read though, right? How about if I just put all like I did for the radio, right? I just put calling the function and I put this in another function, it would make it easier to read. So that's changing the functional, not changing the functionality, but in the future, it would help me expand the code. Why don't we do that, okay? Now, but let's look at this. Why do these elements have to be outside of the scope right here of listen? I don't really know. There's no good reason. So let's see if we could move things around a little bit. There's no reason these need to be called here. We'll make them more local variables right here, right? So far, no errors. How about the string BMI? I don't really need that but then again the BMI was down here why don't I just say string BMI again it's going to be more of a local variable to this particular scope the submit dot on click dot listen right there so does this still work so we changed several lines of code right we, we or at least we moved them around it still works all right, so we made things a little bit simpler, but not really a lot, and we just moved things around. So why don't we make it a little bit simpler here? How about if we grab this, copy it, and instead create a function down here that says BMI func function. Actually, calculate. I'll paste it all there, and then I'll say right here, BMI calculate. Click submit, call the function BMI calculate, it'll enact here. It'll execute. Am I changing anything in the functionality? Well, let's see. No, we're not. And again, we can change it still the same thing okay so now I can do a, I have a lot more flexibility for the future right here and you may look at this and say oh this is a little bit easier to read but maybe it's not easier to read okay because maybe you have a really big number of functions here put together um, how about if we put a new a new folder here and call it lib. So we'll put a library there and we'll put a new file and we'll call it BMI, what do we call? Calculate. Dot dart. All right, so we'll go back here and why don't we just grab everything, copy it, and we'll put it right here. Okay, but this has to be a library, right? Library BMI calculate dot dart. 
and undefined classes because we have to import Dart HTML, right? In order for it to work to even understand these. Um, one issue copied. So, so that should work. And I go back to the main Dart and BMI calculate is not Cal. Oh, whoops. Q BMI Cal 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 uh -oh. Calculate Calculate. Okay, so now we have to import here. Port. It's going to be um, going down lib. And what's that called? BMI calculate that dart. BMI. Library BMI calculate dot dart lib BMI cal. It's not actually. Let's save it. There it is. BMI calculate dot dart. Okay, should have no issues. I'll save it, restart this, and it is working. Same thing. So I really cleaned up the code a lot, pushed this off to the side, can use it sometime in the future, but for right now, the code is nice and clean. All right, so that's refactoring. Okay, fine, if you want to go back here and you want to do some more. Okay, so you're not happy and you're kind of a perfectionist. When am I going to use body mass index? When am I going to use all of these things in any time ever again? You might say, uh, there is no way I will ever use kilograms to pounds. I'm just saying, okay, just, just for the sake of talking. I will never use it ever again. Why don't I just put it all in one neat package? All right. Maybe you can create a class, right? So, so that's a possibility also. Now, remember the purpose of classes is um, not, you can't really do more with the class. You can just organize things better with the class though, right? So let's just see what we can actually do. Let's say, I'm not sure how this is going to go. So let's go with class, let's just call it BMI, okay? And I need to access the instance variable called BMI. We'll create a constructor. And then I'll say, put this, actually, I could probably put almost all of this inside of there. Not all, obviously. It's not going to fit perfectly. Putting right inside of here. Okay, let's see what will actually happen. So this is okay. This is okay. This is okay. St string BMI. What, two issues here. What's going on? Unused import. Oh, um. Oh, that's right. Since this doesn't work anymore, we'll get back here. Um, string BMI. Okay, so obviously we're not going to do that. We're going to have to say BMI. You can't actually equal that, can you? No. You can't actually do this either. And this, I'm not sure. Body mass index weight true height true dot to string. Body mass is probably going to be a string BMI. Okay, that would work. But all we're doing is creating a class now. Okay, so what else do we want to do? Maybe we want to create...
double body mass index and we'll put it right there. Centimeters, maybe make this a little bit neater. And instead I'll just use a single line function and do that. Um, maybe here I'll just do single line function as well like that um, where is that going unexpected line there we go I think that should actually work so I didn't look this through too carefully itself. Um, if wake was true, BMI equals two strings. So this would be string dot BMI. So here it would be, um, what's the class again? Oh, BMI, BMI equals new BMI. Query selector. I think it was called result. Dot text equals BMI dot BMI. Let's see how that actually goes. And same thing. Okay, so we're now we're using a class. We throw it all into one class as opposed to having separate functions. Now, this example, I'm not sure if we this is a net gain, all right? But I'm just saying that if if you wanted to make it more um, less modular, you more monolithic. So you wanted this particular library to be really big. I don't really want any of this other stuff. I just want the BMI. This is one way in which you could have actually done it. Um, so it's easier to just get this class, copy it, paste it wherever you want to go. So that gives you one. I'm not sure if this is a positive refractoring, but just to let you know, this is one way which you can actually do things. All right. So that's basically how we refactor the BMI code. We can do some other things also, and I think I'm going to actually wait for the next video to actually do those. Okay, thank you.